How's it going guys, you TC. We're gonna open up a bunch of chaos boxes. We have three of them to be exact. So it'll be 15 packs, so a decent amount of packs to open today. And hopefully we can pull some of the crazy packs that can be pulled in these. And hopefully we can actually get some good cards out of them. Because lately, we've been pulling actually the good packs, we just haven't been pulling the good cards. So hopefully we can do that today. Um, I wouldn't mind the Dawn of Majesty ones if we can actually pull the Stardust. Uh, um, Starlight Rare, but again, very hard to do. Let's see. Ooh, I think this is some different ones. I don't think we've pulled these before. It's all Burst of Destiny, which I don't think we've ever pulled a Burst of Destiny out of these. So this is going to be a horrible pack, I believe. So we got the Ecclesia sleeves. Which again, I don't think we've gotten. So let's see what packs we got. We got Burst of Destiny. That's not the greatest. Flames of Destruction, Maximum Crisis, Fist of the Gadget, and Hidden Summoners. God, I really hope the other ones aren't like this, because these are horrible. Let's get through Fist of the Gadgets. One of the worst sets ever. Board Formation, England. Hidden Summoners is also not great, so. Uh, Maximum Crisis, I mean, it's kind of during, like, where Yu-Gi-Oh! was kind of, like, the sets kind of all sucked. They just didn't have high rarity cards in them. Time fits place. So I think the best card you can pull out of this is the Ash. So definitely not super strong. And we got Fairy Tail Luna. I've never pulled the Ash, funny enough. Flames of Destruction. Infinite Impermanence is probably the best card out of this, but again, card's been reprinted to cr like like crazy. Link Bounce. Nothing in there. All right, Burst Destiny. Never pulled a Starlight out of this set, actually, so maybe we could finally pull a Starlight Rare out of this set. That would actually be crazy to pull one out of these. A Starlight Rare out of a Chaos Box. And we get Ice Jade Gradle. Not a great start. Not a great start at all. All right, let's go on to this next one. I'm just hoping they're different. The only thing that scares me is they're from the same store. Uh, usually the same stores have very similar packs when they when they stock them. Not always. Like, like I've gone to Meyer. I think these are from Meyer actually. And I've got the Meyer ones multiple times. Sometimes I get the really good ones. Sometimes I get the really bad ones. Okay, this is probably going to be different. It's a different sleeve. Ooh, this is a... I've not had this one yet either. Legendary Duel Synchro Storm. Not great, but not horrible. Duelist Alliance, I'll definitely take. Dark Saviors, Blazing Vortex, and Destiny Soldiers. Interesting. That's a that's a different one. Let's start with Synchro Storm. Actually, no. Synchro Storm is better than Dark Saviors. We can at least pull a Ghost Rat out of Legendary Duel Synchro Storm. We do like to pull Ghosts out of this set, so maybe we can pull another Ghost. Or out of uh, chaos boxes. Not set. Vampire Domain. Do love the look of that card, though, I will say. Let's go into Synchro Storm. Uh, never pulled a Ghost Rare out of a Legendary Duelist set, so this would actually be a first for me. And we get nothing. <laughs> Pretty typical. All right, Blazing Vortex. I have no idea what's in Destiny Soldiers. I don't think I've ever even seen that pack before. Couldn't tell you if there's anything expensive in there. This set, obviously, there is. And we get Dragoonity Knight. So, fortunately, didn't get anything good out of that set. All right, Destiny Soldiers. Okay, so it's an all super rare set, probably, with a higher rarity card. So, probably not going to be great. Is that even a super rare? That is so hard to see. And Dark Lord Teza Tepacola. No idea. Okay, so just in the for warning, I don't think Destiny Soldier is very good. Maybe there's a good card that we didn't, you know, there could be a good card in this set maybe, but from what I've seen, it's not good. All right, Duelist Alliance. There is a Ghost Rare in this set. I'd much prefer the Ultimates, though. I think the Ultimates are better in this set than the Ghosts. Is oh, we got super rare, which they're not guaranteed. Shadow core, but it won't be expensive. 
Duelist Alliance, that's the one thing with Duelist Alliance. There's some really cool cards, just not really any expensive cards. But still really cool set. Right, let's see this last Chaos Box. So far, we've gotten different ones every time. I would actually love to see a little different than what we just got. I would like to see, I would love to see the one with Dimension Force, obviously, because that's probably the best one. This is a different one. Interesting. This one has different cards in it, too. Has my favorite set I saw, King's Court. Okay, this is probably the best one I've ever seen. Jesus, these have good packs. So we have Dimension Force. Duelist Alliance, great set. King's Court, great set. Blazing Vortex, not horrible. And Dark Savior is obviously not good, but I mean, that's actually pretty awesome. That's the best I think I've seen so far of packs in these. All right. I've been wondering if you could pull King's Court because it was on the box. So we got Sky Striker and Mecha Modules. Which that's the thing about Dark Savers. At least has some Sky Striker stuff in it, but I just don't think any of them are expensive anymore. All right. Blazing Vortex. Finally, give us something good. And we don't. Psychic Eraser Laser. All right. King's Court. Feral Rare. Collector Rare coming up. Let's see. That actually be kind of crazy to pull Collector Rare today out of this set. And XC's Hyper Cannon. That's the one thing with Chaos Boxes. The chance of pulling something really good are hard to do. Like, they're actually pretty low, but it's still really, really fun to do. Right, Dual Alliance. Collector Rare time. And we got Shadell Fusions. We got two supers out of a Duelist Alliance, but nothing good, unfortunately. All right. Dimension Force. Can we get the Ghost Rare for a second time? Or can we finally get an ultimate out of this set? We have not pulled an ultimate rare yet. Oh, super rare, though. So they were actually good packs. It's just... We didn't get the cards we wanted. So that's actually a really cool one. DDD Rebel King Leonidas. That's based off of 300. That's actually really cool. But unfortunately, nothing really good today. Honestly, nothing good. But still fun to open those. But the packs were good. Like, we had good packs. It's just, are you going to pull something good out of it? That's really what it comes down to. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.